I got an unboxing of a mystery box. I got an unboxing of a mystery box. Yep, stay tuned. Oh, great. Hi guys, welcome back to Ages How You Wear It, where actually you can just see anything. I'm gonna talk about anything if you can see anything, right? I'm not putting any labels on myself. Guys, so uh, I'm gonna save that unboxing. We got a long video, okay? So get you a glass of wine, get you a cup of coffee whenever you're watching this because we got a long video. I have stuff that has came in. I told y'all about um, my Zara. Uh, I had something from Zara come in, which I am wearing. Um, and I had H&M. Uh, I have Shein. And I have some thrifted items in my box of mystery items, which is thrifted. So what happens is you buy a mystery box and they put just thrifted items in the box and you hope for the best. That's all I can say. So uh, what I'm wearing is I'm going to put a picture here. Um, next week, you will see me talk more about this Zara skirt that I got. It is a sequence Zara skirt. And this is just one of the looks. So I decided to keep it on while I do the video. So let's get started. I think the first thing I do is this purse that I got. So look at this Michael Kors bag, guys. Look at this. It has the Michael Kors on the um, latch and it is i love the cognac color with the uh basket and this is a perfect vacation bag so when i go on my cruise this is definitely the bag that i'm gonna take as well um i would wear this in the spring and summer not so much the fall winter uh, but I still got it because it was a great deal thrifted item on a live sale um $35 worth every dime. There is, it looks brand new. Let me take the stuffing out. Look at the inside. Come on guys. You cannot beat this Michael Kool's bag for $35. And it is gorgeous. It is, I just love it. And I cannot wait to wear it. So this is the first thing. All right, so next is H&M. So let's look at what I got from H&M. So the first thing I got was this stripy purple shirt. So let me, you're, we are seeing this together. I got it in the mail and I all I do is open up and make sure that I still have my stuff in there. Uh, you know, nothing's missing that I might have to do. But other than that, my first time seeing it. So I got this oversized uh, striped purple shirt. And I will put it next to here so you can go get it if you like. I love the back. Look how the back looks. It looks like it's tapered in instead of just being an oversized shirt which I wanted it oversized so that when I want to wear it with something, I can wear it at with uh, a, sh a very short skirt. I can wear it with some jeans. I can wear it with some leggings. I can wear it open. You could do a multitude of things. And I love wearing these with a skirt on top, which is probably how I will style it. And don't let me start wearing no boots. I got a vision, guys. So the purple stripe shirt. I'm in a purple mood and you'll know why on my next video. So what is this? Don't you just love opening stuff? It's just it's like gifts, right? <laughs> but look guys, let me tell you what I've been seeing on TV. I just watched the Hannibal, I mean Hannibal. I just watched the new um, Hellraiser that is on Hulu. Now this is my thing. It was okay. Okay, it was okay. But my thing is this. How is the special effects better in the 80s than it was for this one that they just remade? 
The one, the first Hellraiser that came out that scared everybody. This one, it looked like the people had on rubber suits. And that was the 80s and this is now. You can't make your, mm, no. You can't do your um, your makeup and uh, FX, ain't that what they said, special, special effects. You can't make that better? I was like, no. Okay, so this is a uh, baby doll dress. And you know I love baby doll dresses. And I like the purple color in it. And why does this look so big? I know I'm chunky, but dang. I think this might be a little oversized, probably. Let me see what size it is. It's a medium, but you know what? People said that it ran a little big. So I had got it in a medium instead of a large, which is... I buy most of my clothes, most of my clothes in larges, even though I don't wear large. It's very seldom. Like, this t-shirt I got on is a small medium. So it's not like I can't wear it. I prefer it to be oversized so I can do things with it. If it's too form-fitting, you can't maneuver and make, you know, do what you want with it. So I don't... I prefer to have it a little oversized, but look at this purple um, baby doll dress. Let's send it back. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, so, oh yeah, all right. So this is a black and white uh, oversized shirt, a zebra. Uh, what is it, the zebra print? I just love a zebra print, anything. Uh, I'm not sure if this is a dress or a shirt. Let me see. It's a size medium. I don't know, guys. When I put it next to here, you'll know whether it is a... I think it's an oversized shirt, though, that I could wear as a dress. Imagine this with some uh, leather pants and some leather boots. Oh, and don't let the boots be some color. Oh, black leather pants with some, um, like, I have a pair of lavender boots that come all the way up. Oh, my goodness. That would look so cute. Or my red boots. Yes. So this zebra dress shirt, I don't know what it is, honey. But, oh, I can't wait to style it. I think I got one more thing. Yep. Jeans. I only got a few pair of jeans. Um, Cause I told you on my last video, I'm going a little jean crazy. So these are, I'm gonna put it here of course, but these are the, um, what they call them? Cargo jeans. Yeah. And I got them in a 12 because I wanted them really oversized. Uh, oh yeah. The baggy look is in, especially for jeans. Look, it's got the little pockets on the side and pockets in the back. And I cannot wait to wear these. Oh my goodness. And they look like they really oversized like I wanted them to. These are excellent. Oh my goodness, guys. I got some good stuff. Let me get all this stuff out of the way. Okay, next. Okay, so like I was saying about the Hellraiser, um, I didn't particular I, I didn't particularly care for the movie. It was okay, but the I had to actually I went and watched the first one again, and this one has nothing. When I tell you nothing on the first one, but you may want to see it though. Okay, so do anybody else save these bags? Save these bags. When you travel, these bags are perfect for saving stuff in. Makeup, your dirty clothes when you finish, like your dirty, like your underwear when you go on a long trip and you don't want to put your underwear that you worn in little pockets. I'd rather put them in bags like this, so I save these bags. All right, so I advised that last on my last video, I bought nothing but, uh, what are these called, bodysuits? Because I want to wear bodysuits either under my blazer or bodysuits uh, 
with vests. So you see, I got this vest on and this green and cream and it feels nice and sturdy. And I love the pattern on it. See how it's got it in the front and the back. And of course I get everything from Shein in a large. So let me see the other one that I got. Ooh, look at this one guys. Oh yes. This one is gonna go good with a lot of things. Mixed printing. Um, look at this, 100% fall. Look at this. And I got some more body suits coming too. Okay, and then I got this one because I thought it was so cute. Look at how it has the handprint on the breast. I thought that was so cute and the sheer at the bottom. This would look really, really cute under a blazer. Maybe $6, something like that. And then the last thing I got from this Shein order, like I say, I have another one coming. Um, I wanted an orange dress to wear uh, for not only when I go on vacation, but to wear for winter when I put on a turtleneck and um, some leggings and my orange platforms. Can you imagine that? So cute. And uh, or put a blazer on with it for a pop of color in the, in the winter and put on my, like I said, my um, put on some uh, leggings, you know, tights, like stocking leggings and uh, the, the, the orange platforms. I plan on wearing my orange platforms in the winter. And I want to. All right, so that's the Shein stuff. So guys, tell me below what you've been looking at. Is there something that you've been watching? And of course, I did watch two episodes of uh, Jeffrey Dahmer, and then I was like, okay, I just can't. I see, I know what he did, yes, okay. Um, I just wasn't interested. Uh, cause you can see the documentaries for him and I just didn't want to. So, uh, but I'm, the actor was excellent. He made me think he was Jeffrey Dahmer and that's the point. But I talked about that anyway. What else have I been watching? I watched something else that was good too. Um, oh, oh my goodness. We're gonna talk about this. I went to see Smile. So let me show you the first thrifted item I got. Look at this bag, guys. First of all, the cream, the handle, look at that with the chain. And then it is one of those mushroom-like clutches. And let me see, it was on sale and I think I got it for like, yep, I got this for $10. Nothing's wrong with the inside. And it is by, who is this by? Because you know I ain't got my glasses on. Um, I'll put the name right here. But yes, so I got this for $10 at the thrift store. So you can wear this either like the chain like this, or you could put the chain inside and wear it just as like most people do with the with the clutch. And I thought this was great to carry all season. Summer, winter, this is a neutral color. This is excellent. So I got that. And guys, look at this. I can't wait to the winter because I am going to rock this dress. Look at this dress. It is a Ralph Lauren dress. It's black. It's long. And it's feathers. Ah! You can't beat this. It is, and it's long. So I'm gonna have my platforms on with it. Put me a belt on. Uh, this right here. I just love it. I just think it's so cute. So I can't wait to wear that. And last but not least, oh, and it's not last either. I found me a burgundy blazer. 
look at this guys. This is a men's blazer and it's the burgundy for me. It's got the gold buttons on the lapel as well. Uh, sleeve, why well, I say lapel? And oh, this burgundy is everything. The shoulders, padded shoulders. This is definitely a vintage blazer. Guys, let me see if I can put it on because I got a lot of stuff on. Oh, yes. Put this on. Mm, yes, honey. This blazer is everything. It's everything. And I like it because, A, I don't like all, I like my blazers to be oversized sometimes where I can belt it and everything, but most of the time I like it where I can put something peekaboo under it. So I don't need it to close all the way. So I always get the smaller size in the men's so that it don't have to close. And look at them shoulders and this blazer guy. And the last thing is, oh, I got me some pleather. You know they ain't real. I got me some pleather brown leggings and I got these for a reason too. I got these for a certain, I wanted brown. I got black, but I wanted this nice brown because this would go with a lot of things that I have. So I was like, yes, honey, give me that. And they are by Primark and they are large. So they're going to fit real nice and tight and they stretch a little bit. So, and you know, um, they be wrinkled because it's pleather, not leather. And, but when you put it on your body, it's not going to be wrinkled like this. So this brown, yes, I'm going to take this brown far. So that is everything from, um, uh, the thrift store, H&M, Zara, Shein. Now, let's get to looking at this mystery box. Oh wait, I got one household thing, guys. Look, I got this from Amazon. You know I always got something to show you from Amazon. I needed a charger. It's a four-in-one charger, and a friend of mine at work had one, and it, it was so convenient. Instead of trying to keep bringing chargers to work and you know with the iphones the chargers are specific chargers and i rather keep my chargers at home so i can make sure that i have them and this is what i'm going to carry in my work bag so that i can keep it at my desk unfortunately i don't want to keep it in my desk and think it's going to be there every time i come back i just don't trust it for that but I can keep it in my work bag or in my desk drawer and every time I need to charge, it charges four things. It charges my Apple watch, my Apple phone, my Apple uh, pen that I got with my um, iPad um, and then I don't have the Apple ear thing the jiggies uh earphones i don't have those uh i was thinking about getting me some i don't know i think about it i might get it um and this right here went for 20 something dollars and they've been handing it and they say it charges is great ain't nothing happened so uh i'll put that next to here too so that's the only household type of non-clothing i love it now oh let me show you how it came Ugh, this is the box and it is stuffed and it is heavy. So let's see what's in here. <sighs> okay. So, oh, I like this blue. This is nice. Look at this blue and black uh, paisley. I call it, isn't this like a paisley print? That's okay. So I like the first thing. What is this? Ooh, okay. Look at these colors, guys. Look at the colors of this fall uh, magnificent. And look at the beads on the shirt. Look at the beads. This is cute too. And you know what? I could wear this with those brown leggings and a tan, and my tan um, boots that come all the way up. Blazers. Look at this, look at the, um, look at the tag. That's vintage. 
And this is a different type green other than the green I have. And this green most definitely will go with my Zara green pumps. So this is nice. I hope I can fit it. Oh yeah, and it's got, look at the button. Wait, let me show you the button. I like it when the button is uh, something other than a brown or white or black button. So that button is nice. Let me see, what size is it? I can't see it, it's so old. You can't see the tag. Oh yeah, this is perfectly fine, absolutely. Oh yeah, I like this. Look at this shoulder. Oh, a skirt, oh honey, honey, honey. Okay, what size is this? I don't know. I don't know about this guys. This mouse, it's teeny weeny. Mm. I don't know. I'll see. That's too tiny. What else I got? This is another 100% uh, uh, um, uh, vintage shirt. Now this, I think I can wear, does it button? Yeah. See how it looks a little more oversized? See how it ruches up? That makes it FUPA appropriate. We still going, guys. Oh, look at this blazer. Okay. It's a black and white blazer. Got a cute little handkerchief thing. And this is definitely vintage. She put a lot of vintage stuff in here. And they be selling this vintage stuff for like $20 a wop. I got like a lot of it. Let me see. Oh, okay. I like this. Look, I like this. Um. I like this little pocket thing. I could definitely wear this to work. I like this blazer. Yes, honey. Put me on um, a pair of my white cut off, uh, you know, the white jeans when they frayed at the bottom and then have this on with some cute little colorful thing underneath it to bring the color out. Yes, honey. Already so I at my 100. And 50 if I was buying these from a thrifted online shop. It's already added. Okay, so this is another vintage one. Now, this is a medium. <laughs> but you know, I'm trying to lose this weight, guys. I got to be serious about it. That's the problem. Oh, I love this. I might wear this, even though it's a medium. Depending on if it's really, really tight, I might wear this. Because don't forget, I get a large because I want to get a large. Um, I'll see. Come on, guys. And that's a two-piece set. Another blazer. Oh! Look at this blazer. <gasps> the cowboy look. You know the cowboy look is always in, no matter who you are. The cowboy look is always in. Oh, 
Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Look at this place, guys. I got on like 50 things, but look. This place, uh, yes. This place uh, is everything. So this is a top that you would think is a blazer. First of all, I love the mixed print. Look at this blue on top of this orange. See how the blue and the, this is not even blue, is that purple? Look at the purple and black inside the purple here. You got a tiger print, you got orange. That's the lapel that has all that. And look at the back. Absolutely. This is another vintage. This is another vintage one. And the colors are everything. I can already see myself wearing this with a tan or all brown, cute little dress and putting this on top of it and then tying it up and having it as a little over over top look at this oh my gosh guys oh. And this blazer, ah, uh, the prize. Look at this. It's wrinkled because it's been traveling, but look at this, guys. The blue, the Aztec print. One side, steam it. The yellow, and I like the fact that it's all blue on the back, but in the front. You got on the sleeves, you got this design on, you know, it'll look much better once I steam it. But I don't have anything this color. Look at the color. I don't have anything this color. I don't have anything that looks even remotely like this blazer. Gosh. Okay, guys. That was my mystery unboxing. It was well worth the $150 because all of this, even the things that I cannot fit, that I can tell I can't fit, uh, I can give to my granddaughter and she could definitely fit it. So it will not go to waste. Those are shirts that she would wear. You gotta be careful because they don't wear everything. But that skirt and that shirt, those shirts she will definitely wear. So I got a lot of stuff. All right, guys. So this is the end of the video. And you know, I always do some type of devotion at the end of the video for those who don't care to fellowship with me. They can at least watch all of the rest of the video. But for those who stay, thank you. All right. So today's scripture is... A joyful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. <laughs> Proverbs, and it's Proverbs, y'all know I got these lashes on, 1722. So yeah, so think about it. When we let things get to us, when we carry uh, guilt, when we carry um, shame, when we feel betrayed all those things eat at our soul and it I, to me i think it makes us physically ill and i think it ages us so let's see what it says our emotions have a direct impact impact on our mental physical and spiritual health when we choose to find joy even in pain and suffering it has the capability of healing us when joy infiltrates our hearts the burden of suffering is lessened our pain takes a different form and loses the ability to overtake every aspect of our life. 
We can breathe easier, laugh louder, and rest better. I believe that 100%. When you let go of things that you can't control, people, um, predicaments, past, uh, things that, um, you know, your job, you can't control and make a manager see how your worth you can only make sure that you do the best you can. And then when it comes time for discussions or when it comes time for them to pick and choose who they want to keep or who they don't, the only thing you could do is make sure that you've always did your best. And then you may have to move on. With a significant other, I don't care if it's man, woman, I don't care. You cannot control or change them. You can only make sure of what you do in the relationship, which means make sure they know what you will not settle for. Make sure they know that you're worth and then they can have this decision on whether they will keep. They Then they will have the decision on whether uh, they want to stay with you and you can have the decision on whether you want to let them go. So it all comes down to you, the person and you can't change situations things that have happened that you may have did or have been done to you there's nothing you can do it's in the past so if you let it gnaw at you that's when things and the suffering just goes on and on and peace of mind doesn't always mean money of course money can help don't get me wrong please somebody give me some money but Peace of mind can also come from the peace you have in your home. Stuff. Okay, guys, that's it. I hope you liked my video, and I will see you on the next one. Remember, always stay true to yourself, and no matter where you are in your transformation, you are still going to be that beautiful butterfly.